These are the original neck and middle pickups that came with my Stratocaster. It's Mexican-made Stratocaster, so um, they're not the most expensive pickups. Uh, they do sound pretty good, but uh, they're steel pole, which means that the uh, poles themselves are just made of steel. They're not magnets themselves. The magnetic field is actually created by magnets glued to the underside. And steel poles merely extend that magnetic field up into the coil. Okay, this being a neck pickup, it should have a north polarity. As you can see, it does. Now the middle pickup should be reverse polarity, so that in positions 2 and 4 of the 5-way switch, you get uh, hum cancellation, kind of like a humbucker. As you can see, the red is now pointing down. Neck, it's pointing up. North polarity, middle pickup, it's pointing down, indicating this middle pickup is a south polarity, which is correct. All right, um, so I replaced those for two reasons. Steel pole pickups uh, don't have the uh, most vivid tone to them. Uh, it's a nice tone, but it's not like a vivid tone. Um, it's kind of subdued somewhat, but more importantly than that, I realized that uh, steel pole pickups create more noise for their signal, so they have a less signal-to-noise ratio than magnetic pole Alnico pickups. These are Alnico pickups. The poles themselves are magnetic. If I flip them over down to the underside, you see there is no magnet glued to the underside like the steel poles have. The poles themselves are magnets. So this, they're, they're both Seymour Duncan, five twos. The neck is supposed to be normal. The middle is supposed to be reverse wound, reverse polarity. Let's see if that's the case or not. The neck pickup, north. Red is pointing up, indicating it's a north polarity pickup. Good. Middle pickup. Uh-oh, north is still pointing up. The red's up. That means it's still north. It's not a reverse polarity pickup like it should be.